one of the, uh, the conditions that Maki Bright can help support is dry eye. Explain what dry eye is, what's going on in the eye. It sounds self-explanatory, but explain yes. exactly what it is. Well, you know, we, we, we depend on having tear fluid supply uh, in abundance because not only to keep the eyes moist, but the tear fluid actually delivers uh, nutrients mm. to keep the cells of the cornea uh, alive. You know, the, the cornea cells divide uh, as much as do the skin cells, for example. But you, obviously the cornea is not supplied by blood vessels. That will be difficult for us to see anything <laughs> then. So it's the tear fluid. The tear fluid provides the vitamins, the amino acids, uh, substances required for growth of the corneal cells. We need it. Uh, the tear fluid uh, cannot, it can be replaced with these, t uh, with these eye drops to some extent, but it's never the same as your own tear fluid production. Mm -hmm. Tear fluid production can be impaired with people with inflammatory disorders or just at higher age because uh, the, the tear glands, the lacrimal glands, are very sensitive to oxidative stress. Initially that was discovered, believe it or not, uh, people uh, exposed to cigarette smoke. Mm. Just imagine these old days when we were, when we were at bars mm -hmm. uh, and cigarette smoking. At the end when we left the bar, we had really dry eyes. And from those days, people know that the lacrimal glands are very sensitive to oxidative stress. Then they just deliver less tear fluid. Mm -hmm. And these Japanese researchers then have investigated which flavonoid is most effective for uh, quenching oxidative stress in lacrimal gland cells. And they found that these delphinidins were particularly helpful. And it's not only the delphinidin molecule uh, as such important here, these Delphinidins have uh, sugar moieties attached to them. And the lacrimal gland cells are actually picking up these delphinidins with sugar attached to it because they're actually uh, wanting to have the sugar. You know, these cells have sugar receptors and the sugar then piggybacks the delphinidin into the lacrimal gland cell, quenches the oxidative stress inside the lacrimal gland cell and hence restores the normal activity for producing tear fluid. Okay. And that really works.